I enjoy actually telling the story to people when they ask me, you know, oh, who do you work for? I work for Rotobac, but they make material handling equipment. It's a really interesting and deep story that I probably don't even know all of, but I enjoy sharing what I do. For a long time, people said that manufacturing in America is that you have to outsource, you have to go in Asia, you have to go in Latin America. We're not into fate, we're not into fashion. It wasn't for us. We thought to ourselves, we're gonna let the others do what they think and do it our own way, with our own people. But a lot of our jobs that were in America or the United States or Canada, a lot of it's been pushed overseas. So it's nice to know that we, our product is built in America. We stand behind it and it's, it's local to us. You know, we can actually physically go and see the process. The employees that work at Rotobet have pride in their work. I've never seen anybody paint a loader, get it halfway in there, paint it and say, ah, it's close enough. They make it perfect. It's pride that really drives Rotobet. As of today, Rotobet USA manufactures the Elite Loaders, the Orange Peel Grapples, and the Rotobic Power Attachment Grapples. Those three products are one of our main products that we sell at Rotobic. Rotobic started selling products in the United States in New England to service loggers. Pretty quickly, we understood that these customers needed local support, parts on site. We realized we needed a U.S. foot on the ground, brick and mortar. We started in the old warehouse, then moved into a second warehouse, and then we decided to build our own. So we built the first Rotebeck USA building, a big distribution center, and we last that building for about 10 to 15 years. And the company kept growing and growing up to a point where Rotobec needed new manufacturing facilities. We looked everywhere around the world. We just felt at home in the North Country. There's good labor available there. The Rotobec brand, the strong people are proud to work for Rotobec. And we said, why go so far? It's right here in our backyard. At that point, we built a 33,000 square foot building with jib cranes and overhead crane just for manufacturing the elite loaders. What makes the Littleton plant special? It's the root of Rotobac USA. It's where it all started. It's the beginning. So in Littleton, we make the Elite's loaders, the Elite 910 and the Elite 915. You know, they're a direct mounted loader. You know, they go on trucks for logging, solid waste. You know, a lot of smaller landscape companies put them on their trucks. It's a big marketplace, it's not just logging. Every single one of those is personalized to a customer need. None of them are the same, which is unique in the market. The Elite Loader has always been ahead of the pack. Very early on when we introduced that product in the United States, we were the first to run a high pressure system. We've been known to have the smoothest, most precise loader out there. Our workmanship is next to none. The quality of our welds, the use of technologies to build that loader, robot welding, the quality of our CNC machines, our engineering, the FEA that we do, it really revolutionized this industry the way people use our product, the reliability people can expect out of a product like this has made a big, big change in these markets. Having Rotobec grow in Littleton was beneficial to both Rotobec and the community. From Rotobec, we got highly skilled workers with great work ethic that were proud to make something in the North Country that would be sold worldwide. And for the community, it helped the economy grow, it helped keep people at home, it helped kids stay around and not move out. What's special to me is that any given day I can be driving down the road uh, and I can see something that we produced here in Littleton out on our truck, you know, and being used in companies that are local to us buying our product. To me, that means a lot. It solidifies that we got good product because they could buy any other new loader, but they chose to buy ours, you know? I'd like to think some guy like me maybe had something to do with it, you know, a good hardworking fellow that comes from a good background and then works with an awesome team like this here. Don't yet, 
What made me really want to work for Rotebeck was, you know, you were treated like family, you know, since day one. I had a manager who worked hard and he cared, you know, so having a manager that does that, you just want to work hard for them every single day. What you've got to do is make friends in the factory, make sure that everybody is, is still all on board. You know, we're able to build a bond. They said we're not a corporation where you don't know the owners or you don't know the president or sometimes you don't even know your bosses. For us, you know, we can go to our bosses or even the owner of the company and shake hands and, and have conversations. And, like, it's just two people. And I think a lot of our customers like that because a lot of our customers are family-owned companies. Rotobeck has been manufacturing in Littleton for five years now, and victim of our success, we outgrew that building again. We had to do another expansion. The product we wanted to build was the orange peel grapple and the power attachment. So we had to decide, first of all, where do we expand? Littleton, it was physically impossible because of all the mountain surrounding us. Went to North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, but then when we got back to New Hampshire, it's our folks, it's our people. We know them. There's a proximity with Littleton to help. There's a proximity to St. Justine to help. One of the reasons why we decided Groveton, New Hampshire, is that a long time ago, there were a mill that was employing many, many, many workers. Paper was hard to produce effectively, and then just like that, 385 people out of work. And it left, uh... Ah, oh, man, a crater. They were told one day, you lost your job. And, and most everybody worked at the mill that, worked, that lived in town. Kind of everything centered around the paper mill. Uh, my dad worked there for 43 years. I worked there for about 13 years. It was totally unannounced that the mill was closing. So basically, we had three months to finish that. And it was uh, a tough time. A lot of people didn't know what to do. A lot of people, that's all they knew. A lot of people had to pack up and move. So there was a lot of empty homes. The town was suffering, to be quite honest. And uh, next thing you know, moms moved to Groveton. We joined shortly after those guys. We rallied together to try to really help the community, show face in the community, and do anything that we possibly could to help out the community. And so far, we've been able to keep that promise. When big businesses like Rotebeck come to Groveton, it's just huge, not only for their tax benefit back into our town, but also what they've given to the community and sponsorships for our school and donations of metal supplies to the school. Now there's more businesses going in, bringing Groveton back to life, which I'm so thrilled to say that I, you know, I was, I was a part of that. You look at our banners and billboards. We got a lot of. We got a lot of support from different businesses, and it's what it takes. Groveton's a very small town. I would say that this is like a big attraction. It draws many people into the town. I don't know how it all that. You know, every time I see Sylvain or Benoit or any people from the family of Coyotes, it's just I always thank them for coming to Groveton. And, you know. In Groveton, we build our grapples and attachments. So it's the OPs, the RPAs, 045Ws, 110Gs. These are all the attachments needed to go on the loaders to perform whatever job the customer is looking for. As of today, M3 is running full pace. We're running two shifts there. We have about 50-ish employees. And it's been such a success story. Started with just a few orange peels a week. We took the market. It was the first time we were building cylinders outside of Canada. It was a great success. And that factory grew, grew, grew. Ended up having to build different products, RPAs for the pipeline, land clearing industry, feeding grinders. We built storm grapples as well, the famous 045Ws. And now uh, that factory uh, is getting more and more flexible and building more and more products in America. 
I remember turning in the driveway and seeing that bright, shiny new building with uh, brand new landscaping. It has the new car smell in it. It was uh, so great. And I thought to myself, this will be a success. You could tell that the people who built this were proud. At the Grofton plant, you'll meet hard workers that want you to know that they're working hard. You meet some people that just work hard and go about their day. You meet proud people, really proud people, proud of the product, proud of where they came from, proud of what they're doing. You know, the type of people that we have in the shop now and the, and the people we look for is, is people that don't take themselves too serious, you know. You gotta be honest with yourself. Not every day is gonna be easy, and not every day is gonna be hard. You gotta, you gotta be able to take the good with the bad. There's a lot of guys and gals like that. In Groveton, we work very well together. If one person has an issue, if anyone can pitch in to make their job a little easier, I find that everyone's willing to lend a hand. Teamwork goes a long ways in this place. If we didn't have half these guys, we wouldn't be doing what we are. We're all just one big family, and everybody here is here for the same purpose, and I'm sure there's nobody in this shop that can say they hate coming to work. We all get up in the morning and look forward to coming in and working here. The way that we've been growing for the last 11 years is not going to be the end for us. Uh, but the biggest thing about it is, is no matter how big we get, once we become that billion dollar company and, and growing continuously, because that's where we're going to be, we're still going to have our same values. We're still going to be that family oriented company and we'll always strive to be the best. That's, that's what we do. We set the bar and we change the game. I would like people to remember the company. It's a hidden gem. And I really want people to understand when we talk about Rotobeck, I want them to feel what we feel about being part of this company.